everyone today I am going to show you how to make an orthographic or if you want to call it multi-view drawing in Fusion 360 so you can create several types of drawings perspective drawings isometric drawings only and orthographic those are just a few so I've made this shape right here just now and if you want to choose a shape from your data panel go ahead or you can make a shape right now pause right now in the video if you need to open something up or make something very quickly all right so since we have this right here we're going to go to the design workspace if we, if we see this arrow click it and we have one two three four five six seven different workspaces I've shown you the render some time ago and I want you to go all the way down to drawing and then from design I'll go through that one more time design all the way down to drawing from design then once you click from design it first asks you to say since I didn't save mine I'm just going to name it something random so then this box comes up also the save box doesn't appear unless you didn't save it just saying that so the units are millimeters but I want the seat side in inches so I'm going to cancel for now and yes go to document settings and we see the units are millimeters at least that is my default if you have inches or meters or something that's fine I want you to click on this and it says change active units click on that and then this little box comes up change active units and change this to inch then press ok so now our units are inches we're going to do the same thing I showed you design drawing then from design so now we have this highlighted which is what you want drawing create new content full assembly or you can select it really doesn't matter template from scratch standard standard ASME unit this is where I want you to change to millimeters then the sheet size if you are going to print this out it's going to be a the first one 8.5 times 11 after you have done all that press ok okay well this is loading I'm just going to cancel that drawing view for a second we have opened a new tab it's not named and not saved because that's what it's called untitled but we still have this open so now we have this only tab called drawing and you can see create modify geometry dimensions text symbols insert tables and export we're going to go under the create tab and we see these different views and create sketch which i'm pretty sure all of you have seen before break view detail view section view project view and base view i want you to click on the first one base view then this big box should come up references create new representation is the model so in my case it's this Oh, my elastic. That's okay. And in an orthographic view, the isometric view is on the top right. This view is on the top left. So this is the top view, but we have the orientation front view. Here is where we put the front view. Then on the bottom right, we put the right view. And you'll see all that. So if you want me to cancel this, and I'll go here. The view I'm in right now is an example of an isometric view. Isometric views is like these corners on the block right here in the corner. So click this and any of these views are isometric views. Then you might realize the words here. This view is going to be the front view. This view is the top view. This view is the left view, but it's kind of hard to see. So I'll turn that. 
then this view right here is the right view. So whenever you're adjusting the top view, sorry, sometimes this box is hard. Whenever you're adjusting the top view, you have to do it from the front. So if this is your front view, then this is how the, your top view should look like. So now we got a bit of background for the views. We're going to go to create and base view. Then we see the appearance orientation is front. So if you want, we're going to start with the top. And this is, seems a bit small and I want you to change the scale to one. If that looks a bit too big, 0 0.8. And that looks good. So the top view has to be always in the top left and choose wherever you want it, but I don't recommend you having it like it all the way to the edge like what I'm doing. So click, then you can press OK. So now I have this view. I will explain the dotted line in one minute as soon as we finish all the views and start doing the dimensions. And don't worry about the dimensions, it's really not that big of a deal. We're going to go under create and base view again. And remember what I said before, this is the front view. So we're going to change the scale to 0 0.8. Eh, it's 10.8. 0 0.8. If that looks a bit too big, because it is, we have to cancel and redo our views. So base view. If it's 1 to 2 and you like that, let's try 1.5 to 2 bit too big, don't you think? If you can get a good view to get started with, try 0 0.5 if that's a bit small. I think 0 0.6 or 7 will do. So 0 0.6 looks good. And remember, I'm doing front view. I should really be doing top view. Click, then press OK. So that view looks good. Now let's go to the base view. And now we're at front. I did 0 0.7 for the scale. And still is a bit big. So you have to try 6. And that looks about right. Right? So there are specific rules when you're making an orthographic view. So it has to be very precise. They have to be in the same line. So if you can't, if you're not very precise, you can just zoom in to see where you're at. That looks about right. Then once you're done there, you can press OK. So now this is the top view, and this is the front view. If you don't like where they're placed, you can click Add a View. Yeah, this one is looking a bit um, small for me. So you can do this. Or if you just want to undo it all together and start all over, you can. That's what I'm going to do. But you just be fine with your views and what you're doing. I'm just going to do this very quickly, and if you want to try doing the right view, go ahead while I am fixing mine. Just please hold off on the isometric view because I want to save that to talk to you about it. I'm just doing the right view right now. And if you're not very precise, zoom in to get a good measure or guesstimation, I guess. Estimation, sorry. So this is the right view. And now we have to do the isometric views and this gets a tiny bit tricky. So we're gonna go to create and base view again. And now we see at the bottom, there are four different types of isometric and you're thinking, oh no, it really doesn't matter. So. I like northwest or about northeast, one of those two, because from the south it's from the bottom and I don't like that very much. 
So I would recommend northeast or northwest, but you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to change the scale again to 0 0.6, but that's a bit too big, 0 0.4. The isometric view is not like these other base views, so it makes sense. I'm going to click and press OK. And now you see the dotted lines again. If you don't want these dotted lines, you can click Edit View. And if you don't want these edges at all, or you want full length, it really doesn't matter. So now, with the isometric views and dimensions, you do not, and I repeat, do not put any dimensions on the isometric view. It just doesn't work that way. But you do put dimensions on the top, front, and right side views. If you don't see any space, that is fine. Not like the end of the world. And the three different dimensions we're going to do is length, width, and height. So if you're thinking this is the height or this is the height, right? If we're doing this side, we have to specify how much is one block compared to all three? All right. I did this in millimeters and it might vary if you did a different object. So based on this, this is the front view. So just think for a second. This is the front view right here. So this must be 50 and all these three together is 150. So that is the height. If you want to do the length, we can like do it here. So if you want to specify one block, and you can also stretch it out, but I don't recommend stretching it out so it like gets in the way of another view or putting it inside because you can't do that. So that's 50, and I'm going to do another one saying 100. So now I know this is 100. Then what about this one? So if you look closely, this, these two edges line up perfectly. So we can do another one here. And there we go. These are our dimensions. And I like to point out something. You notice that my dimensions are always in between the views. You can't do a dimension outside because that wouldn't really make much sense, even if it does look good and match. You can't do that. So we have this here. And I had to explain these hidden lines to you, as I said before. Hidden lines mean that there's something underneath that isn't, well, full, you can say. It's kind of like the, the shell tool. So what I mean by that, so is that I have a hole here. And if you don't put the hidden line, it doesn't show that there's a hole here, especially when we can't see it because if we look at the top view, we can't see the hole, right? So we have to indicate that there's a hole here by drawing a dotted line, if that makes sense. In geometry, you have to find the volume and sometimes it's helpful to have these lines so you know where their boundaries are. So this is it for the orthographic view. I'd like to hear from anyone if they want to do an isometric view by itself with a little description because I'll be happy to show anyone that. So that is it. I made an orthographic prediction based on this figure. Also, I'm sorry I haven't posted it in a while. I've been very busy lately and I'll start posting since it's summer a lot more. That is it for this video and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.